Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to use parameters with the new Perform Outgoing Action. We create a preset and give it a name. We select the desired input MIDI port for our device. We then create our first translator with an incoming trigger of Perform with the name Action with Params. For a parameter, we use the local variable pp. In this case, we will not have an outgoing action, but merely post a message to the log window so that we will be able to see the action. Now we need a translator to trigger the perform action. In this case, we will capture a MIDI message from our keyboard. Since my MIDI keyboard has velocity sensitive keys, I set it to trigger on any velocity. The outgoing action will be perform with the name action with params and then a hard coded parameter of one. We press the key on the keyboard and see the message in the log window. Now let's make it a little more interesting. We will capture the incoming note number in the local variable UU then send its value to the Perform Translator for output. Now the log window shows the note number that I pressed. Let's also capture the note velocity and put that into the local variable VV. We add VV as the second parameter in the outgoing action. Since we will be using two parameters, we modify what we say in the log window in our perform translator. We then add a second incoming parameter in the perform translator. Let's assign it the local variable QQ. Now you see that both the note number and the velocity is captured and displayed in the log window. Now let's make it even more interesting. We change the rules in the note translator to calculate different outgoing parameters by multiplying the note number by the velocity for the first parameter and using the mod operator for the second parameter. We change the outgoing parameters to the new variables for sending to the perform translator. We do not need to change the incoming perform parameters because the value will be transmitted by parameter position and not variable. Now we see that the new calculated values are passed and displayed. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, reach out to us at forum.boom.com.